In this video, we will install the Abbey FlexiCapture project setup station and test it with the sample project. I am using a separate Windows 10 machine to run project setup station. However, you can install project setup station on the same application server. But it is highly recommended to install project setup station on a separate machine so that it doesn't eat up the system resources of the application server. Okay, so I have logged into the Windows 10 machine and I'll go to the same shared folder where the installer is saved. Right click auto run, run as administrator, click yes, distributed installation, install workstations, okay. I accept, next, I'll enter the user and organization. Next, I'll unselect everything and select project setup station. Next, I'll enter the host name of the licensing server. Next, install, and it should start the installation. The installation will take a while, so as usual, I'm going to fast forward this video and we'll be right back. All right, the installation is completed and I click finish. Now let's test this all by setting up a test project. I have already created a sample project called credit card and this will extract data from credit card statements. And I have some sample credit card statements here. None of these are real banks, they are just mocked up samples. So I'll go to start, launch project setup station and you'll see three options. Create a new project, browse for a project from a local drive or shared drive or browse from server, which is basically means browse from the application server. Now we will open the project by clicking browse, go to C drive, test project, credit card, then select this file which has the extension FC proj and click open. Now let's load a sample credit card statement and see if it works. So I'll switch to test batches by clicking this button, then right click, new batch, and a new test batch will be created. Then in order to load a sample statement, I'll right click on the test batch, load images, and I'll select the first statement by double clicking on it. So the image is getting added and it'll start the recognition process right away. All right, now if I just double click the test batch, I can see the document definition name, which means that the loaded image is matched against the document definition. Otherwise it would show unknown document. And if I just double click this, you can see that all the data has been extracted. So this proves that the document definition is working. Now the next step is to upload the project to the application server. So I'll go back and delete the test batch. Then I'll click this button which says upload project to server. I'll type the application server URL which is http colon slash slash abby app server and leave the authentication option to use Windows authentication. I'm already an administrator on the application server because I use my account to install the application server so it'll automatically add me as an administrator. But if you are going to use some other account, then make sure that you add that account as a user in an application server and give administrator permissions to that account. Otherwise, when you try to upload the project, you will get access denied error. All right, so I'll go ahead and click test connection and the test connection is succeeded. So I'll click okay to upload the project to the server. It may take a while depending on the size of your project. Alright, now the upload is complete, so I'll click close and it says the project was successfully uploaded. Do you want to open it? It is basically asking if you want to close this project which you have opened from the local drive and then open the project from the server instead. Now, before I click yes, I want you to make a note of this title bar here. It says credit card new hyphen Abbey Flexi Capture 12. Now, if I click yes, you can see that it says HTTP colon slash slash Abbey app server slash credit card new, which means that the project is now being accessed from the application server. 
Now if I go back to the application server and launch administration and monitoring console, log in with my credentials, go to settings and click projects. You can see the credit card new project is uploaded and reflecting here. Now let's see how to configure this project to pick up documents from a shared folder at a specific interval. We have already created a shared folder called Abby in our second video. So I'll go to that folder and I'll create a new folder called Input Files. Now you can create this folder anywhere but make sure you share that folder and give permissions to the folder for the service accounts that you have created for Abby processing stations because the processing stations will pick the files from this input folder. Make sure you provide read, write and delete permissions. You might be wondering why delete permissions is needed if it is just going to be an input folder, right? I'll explain to you in a moment. Just hang on with that thought, right? Okay, so since I have already given the service account access to the parent folder Abby, it just got inherited to this subfolder, so I don't have to really do anything different. Next, I'll create three additional folders. Processed, then exceptions, and finally output. Okay, so now we will go back to the project setup station and let's check if these folders are accessible from here. So I'll type backslash backslash abby app server backslash abby. I can see all the folders here. Now let's see if all these folders are accessible. So I double click input files. Yes, it's accessible. Similarly, I'll go ahead and check processed exception and output folders. Okay, awesome. So all good. Now I'll go to the project setup station, click project, image import profiles, click new, and hot folder is what we are looking for, and that is already selected. There are several options here. Our hot folder is basically a shared folder, so we need to select local or LAN folder. And here, type the path of the input files folder, so it is slash slash abby app server slash abby slash input files. and then click next and here you can mention how frequent you want Abby to check the input files folder in other words the hot folder so for now we will select this and leave it to 20 seconds leave the other options as it is click next I'll leave all these options to default click next now here we need to specify what should Abby do when the file import is successful and what should it do when the import is not successful in both the cases, you either need to delete the files or move it to a different folder because you, if you don't move or delete the files, then Abby will keep checking the same folder, I mean, same, same file over and over every 20 seconds. So that is the reason why it is mandatory to move or delete. And that is the reason why I mentioned earlier that you need to provide delete access for the service accounts. So we have created process and exceptions folder. So I'm going to type the path for process folder here. And here I'll type the path for the exceptions folder. Then click next. Give the image import profile a name. I'll leave this name as it is because it is pretty descriptive. And click finish and close. Next, let us configure the output folder settings. So I'll go to the project, properties, and under the general tab, there is a field called export root path. I'll type in the output folder path here, which is slash slash abby app server slash abby slash output. And then click apply and okay. Now there is one final step you need to do before it can start picking up the files you need to turn on the hot folder option on the application server. So go back to the application server and go to the project settings page on the administration and monitoring console. And here you should see the option to enable hot folders. So just click that and we are good to go. Now I'll go back to the project setup station machine and I'll go to the folder where I have some credit card sample statements. 
I'll copy them all and drop them into the input files folder. Now you should shortly see these files disappearing. And you can also see a new subfolder called Processing Tasks has been automatically created by Abby. Now if I go back to the project setup station, select the working batches list, I can see a batch got created and if I double click this, I see all the images that have been recognized as credit card statement. But Abby is not 100% certain about the recognized characters. So if I go back, you can see that it is waiting at the verification stage. So in the next video, we will install the verification station and configure it to access these patches.